Here we are after Dave Ellison's magnificent show of the spoken word. What did you think? It was awesome. Fantastic. Any particular favourite from today? Uh, probably the live performances. Yeah. It being a bass player, it was good to see him perform. Yeah, yeah, the, the spotlight on him in sure. particular. Yep, absolutely yeah. awesome. Yeah. Terrific. Glad you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for your time. Well, well, here we are. Dave Elephant's live show. What did you think? Oh, I thought it was fantastic. He was he was really open with everything that he from his past and sure. his bass tone was fantastic even like without the backing band it was great indeed and you got the bass there yourself so you would have been particularly keen oh yeah I, I was backstage before the show and he gave me some pointers on how to play like him and oh wonderful how to fix my own playing oh fantastic great. did you have a favourite part of the evening uh well I thought all of his stories were great uh, yeah. when he played Five Magics that was really cool brilliant nice highlight yeah. absolutely terrific thank you so much for your time no worries uh, Dave Ellison spoken word to her here in St Kilda what did you think oh it's just fantastic it's it's so great he's, he's such a humble guy like you always have the sort of fear that these massive rock stars have big egos but he's the most down to earth guy I was just with Lucas backstage talking to him uh, before when he got his lesson and uh, just you know such a true legend of the genre a pioneer an inspiration and he's just he's just a dude like that's oh, he's, yeah he's just a well, guy you should be on the payroll with comments like that that's fantastic <laughs> no but absolutely yeah. agree did yeah. you have a favourite part of tonight? Uh, I, I it's probably what everyone says but I mean when he rocks out Holy Wars that's just something special but having said that having said that actually uh, he played um, uh, Killing Is My Business and Business Is Good and that's one of my favourite songs and it hasn't been played live for 30 years as far as I know yeah. I could be wrong but uh, I no, love I that one spot on yeah. yeah and just yeah he, he's such a funny guy as well uh, I, I, the whole evening. There we go. That's that's the Wonderful. that's the wank answer. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming to me. Thank you. Dave Ellison, spoken word to him. What did you think? Absolutely phenomenal. Like he's a phenomenal bass player, and it's just great to get some backstory from the man himself, and also to meet him in the flesh. And you know, he's just a really down to earth guy that. Regardless of his success and his talent, he's still just a really easygoing, easy to talk to person. So. Absolutely, yeah, it gives you a lot more insight into the book, I guess. As well. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. And also getting up there and playing a couple of the classic tunes was just excellent to see up close. I mean, seen him live previously, obviously, but yeah. in this intimate setting, it's so much more, uh, has so much more impact. I know he's right there! Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Did you have a favourite part of this evening? Um, probably the Q&A, like he really opened up, he didn't hold back at all, it was excellent to um, how engaged he was with everybody and um, yeah, there was just a lot of little details learnt, I mean, I followed Megadeth for years and um, I'm pretty, I like to think I'm pretty well versed, Yes. but there were a lot of little things tonight that popped up that I had no idea about which are very interesting and oh, sort of complete the, the puzzle, the Megadeth yeah. puzzle, yeah. And so terrific, thank you very much for your time, yeah, no glad you enjoyed it. Cheers. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> great yeah, a familiar face. The Hard Rock Show, Channel 31. There we go. <laughs> Wonderful. So, unaccustomed as you are to public speaking. <laughs> Thanks so much for your time. Dave Ellison here in St. Kilda. Um, yeah. What did you think? I thought it was great. He's one of my favorite, actually my favorite bassist of all time, even though I'm a guitarist, but um, I loved it. Most he played certainly. all the songs I wanted him to play and answered a lot of questions, so it was really cool. Oh, yeah. terrific. That's yeah. great. Did you have a favorite part of this evening? Oh, probably when he played Five Magics. <laughs> yes, yeah. oh, I don't think you're the only one. I think that was mine too. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Ladies and gentlemen, Dave Ellison, live in St Kilda. What did you think? Really, really good, really informative. And 10 out of 10. Really, really interesting guys. <laughs> no, it's good, it's good. Uh, Terrific. Yeah. Favourite part of the evening? I liked, um, I look, it, it, it was just a brilliant bass player. That's yeah, one that thing was I interesting. Noticed. Yeah, we yeah. didn't think it was, oh, look, it probably wasn't meant to be a clinic like, yeah, of sorts, yeah, but yeah. just the fact that he incorporated that into there. Really nice and guy. Explaining, think, yeah. and, ex yeah. and explaining his roots and why he thinks about the, the, the way he plays the bass the way he does. I sure. thought that was really interesting. Like, yeah. not, a lot of people do that. They sort of focus on the wrong things when they try to talk like, oh. Too much theory. Yeah, too much. Well, it's yeah. just about... Yeah. He's just about, you know, he's talking about, about like, his yeah. approach to it. So, yeah. yeah, indeed. And talking yeah. about the early days of the picks yeah. and some of the yeah, songs. Yeah, was yeah, yeah. Was really, what did you really say? Uh, Paul McCartney, if it's good enough for Paul McCartney, yeah. it's Sting. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's good enough for me. Oh, terrific. Yeah. Yeah. So, we give it a 10 out of 10. Definitely. 10, 11 out of 10. 10 out of 10, 10 everybody. 10. Dave, keep the good work up. Cheers, mate. Wonderful, gentlemen. Thank you.